guys. I just woke up from a nap. I um, went back to sleep this morning because I wasn't feeling good. I think, I think I'm really sick. It's like 10:40. I'm really sick, guys. I don't, I don't feel good. So I took um an 800 milligram ibuprofen that John had left over to try and knock a fever out because I had a really really high fever. And I took my friend of own because I have to take that because I do slow taper. And then I went to sleep and I had like the weirdest dream. I had a dream that I was at my grandma's house and I was there with Cookie and I was there with my Aunt Linda and I was there with my grandma and I was there with like all the women of my family and the weird thing was is, like everybody was on all this medication and we were talking about all the problems that we have but for some odd reason that I was the only one that had the lupus sorry I'm like I'm brain zapping I didn't take any tram at all yesterday at all because I wanted to see what I could do I I want to see if I can get off pain medicine and be okay, and I can't. So then I got, like, really sick in my dream. To where I was, like, stop licking your foot. To where I was, like, having seizures, and I was crying. And the thing is, like, I was already crying this morning because I didn't feel good. Like, in real life, I was crying. And I just had, like, a complete mental breakdown. So in the stream, I was, like... I was like freaking out. <laughs> I just turned the air on and I, I like got up. I'm gonna try and eat something. Cause I'm like really out of it and I don't. I don't know what's going on. It was like a really weird dream. I'm like, I don't know. Really confused. One minute I was awake, and the next minute I was sleeping, and then the dream was just so real. And then I'm supposed to get the results for my lupus soon. I don't know how soon. All I know is, I mean, I feel like there's something wrong. I feel like there's something wrong. I'm hurting. I'm in pain. I'm. I'm miserable, you guys. I'm miserable, and I swear, if the doctors like don't call me, and then I go in the end, the 18th, and they tell me I'm perfectly fine again, I'm going to strangle someone because apparently there's something wrong with me because I don't feel good, and I am just so tired of feeling like crap all the time. Nobody should feel like this, and I feel like this all the time, and it's like. I really think that my lupus doctor believes me, and he's really trying to help me. <sighs> I get tired of being on all, all the different medications, you know? So then I experiment and see what I can do away with, since I was supposed to be doing away with the prednisone. So I didn't take any tram at all yesterday, I didn't take any muscle relaxers, the only thing I took was the volume. And the present was open. And I was like, I'll play with this. See what I can do. It was a bad idea because then I started getting brain zaps from not being on the tramadol. Because that's the same thing. You can get brain zaps from tramadol because I didn't wean off of it. I was just, I just didn't take it yesterday. So I got to get it right now. Because I'm tired already. I feel like crap. I just have fever. For some of these medications that I'm on can cause fever too. But I hurt so bad, you guys, because I tensed up so bad in this dream. In this dream, I was like, everybody was like offering me all this medication because they thought they could help me, and all I kept doing was crying. All I kept doing was crying because, like, I had fought and tried and hide, hide it. I tried to hide it. And I still try to hide it. I still try to hide the fact that I'm sick because I don't want my kids to know that I'm sick. 
And this morning I broke down in front of my kids and I feel terrible. And I just kept telling them mommy doesn't feel good. Mommy's got a fever. Once mommy's fever goes away, she'll feel fine. And then it's it's just like how you explain to your kids that there's something really wrong with you that you're not that strong woman that you want to be for them. I'm just I I don't want to be sick anymore, you guys. I don't want to be sick anymore, and I don't want to feel like crap anymore. This is not me. I hate this. I hate breaking down all the time. And I was feeling so good there for a while, and now I'm just crashing again. And I don't want to crash anymore. I want to just feel good and stay good. I don't know, you guys. Anyways, this is like a shitty start to the vlog, and I'm really sorry about that. And this is how my morning started. I literally... I got up at 6, 6.30 and just, I lost it. I had a really high fever, my heart was racing, and I just felt like complete and utter poo, so I took an ibuprofen. I, I sat here for a while and I was trying really hard to just wake up, and I was like, I'll wake up, I'll eat some chocolate, I'll eat some chocolate, it'll make me feel better. So I ate like a ton of good Girl Scout cookies. I was like, I'll eat some chocolate. It'll make me feel better. Yeah, I was wrong. It didn't make me feel better. and just made me want to go to sleep. So I, like... Panda was laying on the couch, and I looked at her, and she just kind of looked at me. So I laid on her butt, and I went to sleep. And I woke up to her licking my face. Because apparently I was having a really bad dream, and she knew it. She was really concerned about me. I'm just glad I'm kind of home by myself today because I was supposed to go work at John's shop, but I told him I wasn't going to because he had work. I mean, I could I could have done something in his shop today. I mean, I'm sure he had work, but I just didn't want to because I just feel like complete and utter poo, and I really don't want to be in the heat with the, with a fever. So I think I'm gonna try to eat some of my my pasta my 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 salad from yesterday, and I'm gonna attempt to eat and maybe take a painkiller because my fibromyalgia is hurting so bad right now, and I think it's from tensing up in my sleep and I think it's from not taking anything yesterday. So I'm like in so much pain right now, and then I'm gonna try and get up and do something. I know my husband will be understanding if I don't get any cleaning done or anything, but I still just need to do something. I can't lay around all day, though I have to work tomorrow. I don't want to go to work tomorrow because then they're going to yell at me. They're going to yell at me because I'm sick again. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. I just wish they would give me my results already. I just want to know what my results are. I want to know if I'm... I want to know what's going on. I want to know why I feel like this. I mean, I kind of figured I was going to get sick anyways because... Yeah. The prednisone, the prednisone it ran on the bottle, it says it attacks your ability to fight infection and everybody's been getting sinus infections around me, so I kind of figured... I kind of figured I was going to get sick, which I do have, like, a sinus infection, that's what it is. It's causing me to get a fever, and I feel absolutely miserable, and I hurt really bad, so I gotta take some, I gotta take some, <laughs> I don't want to. I really just want to go to sleep, but every time I sleep, my fever comes back, and, and then I start 
having really weird dreams. Really, really dreams. Weird dreams. And they're night chair dreams. Anyways, guys, I will touch base with you later and let you know how I'm feeling because today's going to be a bad day, I can tell. Okay. So, I'm smoking all that, right? I'm getting ready to wash some dishes. I have to um, get some of this stuff done around here because, yeah, I haven't done anything today because like, there's just been filled like crap. So, I did take a bunch of medicine. I took, um, I took my tramadol for the pain, and then I took a Flexerol because it was not helping. The tramadol wasn't helping, so I took Flexerol too. Um, it's helping a little bit, and I took an 800 milligram ibuprofen to try and help with the fever. So the fever's gone now, which is very, very good. I'm glad about that. And my friend Melissa, seeing that I was not, not doing the best, so she actually stopped over for a little bit and came to cheer me up a little bit. Thank goodness. So right now I'm going to start washing some dishes and then I have to clean my room and stuff. Um, yeah, I feel like absolute poo today. I'm in a lot of pain and I just I just don't feel good. But I gotta get some stuff done because it's already three o'clock and I wanna get some stuff done before my husband and the kids get home. So I'm going to go this is gonna be a very weird vlog today because it's just been a bad day, but I'm gonna go ahead and go for a little bit and then hopefully I can get a little bit more um video me later when I am um, feeling a little bit better and I have some stuff done so we'll talk to you lovely soon. So I just put the kids to bed. Um, today's vlog has been, it, it's not that great. But that's because I had a very very bad day and I just did not really feel like vlogging. And I still have like a ton of stuff to do. And I'm going to go to bed early after I, ed I'm going to edit this vlog and then I'm going to I'm going to edit this vlog, get it up, check my messages, and then I'm going to bed early because I haven't been feeling that great and I need to take some medicine and go to sleep. Um, I think John's going to go get some food first and then after I eat, I'm going to go to sleep. So, yeah. it's it's. I'm sorry, this vlog is like kind of kind of old and little and nothing, but... Yeah, sometimes the days just aren't entertaining, but I hope you guys are having a good day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.